Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my live. I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings, uh, like this one. And usually I'm on my live making orders for customers. But today I don't have any orders, so that's a good opportunity for you. I'm going to offer you guys 10% off. You can use the coupon code WELCOME at coinringmaker.com. That website is linked on my profile, and you can also tap the gold chain or the pinned link down here. Go check out the store. If you see something you like and you place an order, I will get right to work on it. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. And I'm just going to kind of hang out and uh, see if anybody's interested in getting a coin ring today. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, go check out the store. If you place an order, I will make your ring here on this live right in front of you. It's a pretty good deal. Some pretty cool coin rings available at the moment. It's a Walking Liberty half dollar. This one's 90% silver. 30s to 40s. This one's 44. Pretty handsome ring. Again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. If you haven't checked out the website, tap that gold chain down here or the link on my profile. And if anybody watching places an order, I'll see it come through. And I'll get to work on it for you. Uh, most of my rings are made custom to order. Uh, for quarters, I can go up to size 13. Uh, half dollars, size 13 is no problem. Uh, larger rounds like this one, I could do size 13 as well. So that, that's not a problem. You'll just need to uh, figure out what kind of coin you'd like made into a ring. And uh, we can get that going for you, Jack Bauer. jack -a boy If anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. I don't think I have any size 13 ready to show you. This one's a size 12, but I could easily uh, make a size 13 for you. That wouldn't be a problem. Lots of cool designs, lots of different types of uh, coins. Buffalo nickel. Well, I do have a Buffalo round. Nickels are kind of tricky to work with. Find it for you real quick. So I've got this Indian head. Uh, this one here is a half ounce fine silver. It's got a pretty good buffalo on there. If that's something you're, you'd like to do.
You can pin a comment now. Tap comment to pin. Moderators can do it too. Would make earrings out of those. How thin of a band would it be at a size 13? Uh, it would be about... It would be about this thick. This is a, a half ounce silver round that's a size 12. So it would be a little bit bigger. But that's how thick the band size would be. Decent size. Yeah, I don't do too much with earrings because I don't wear earrings. And I like to test my jewelry to make sure that I like the way it looks on me before I... <laughs> before I put it on my website. So I haven't done too much with earrings, but that's just a personal preference. But yeah, Jack, uh, if, if you'd like to... Get... Get yourself a buffalo. These are going to be under coin rings on the website. Then go to find silver, and this is under the half ounce. And you should be able to find it there. And you can use this coupon code WELCOME to save 10% off your order. Uh, if anybody else is interested in getting a coin ring and has any questions, feel free to ask. And hopefully we'll get an order in, and uh, we'll we'll make something cool today. So y'all go check out that website. Again, it's linked down here, the gold chain, or the link on my profile. Use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. All right, so just for fun, I'm going to make a uh, quarter coin ring. Uh, while I work on this, if you want to check out the website and see if there's something on there you might like, uh, go place an order, let me know if you have, and I'll get to work on it. But we got dead air here, so uh, I kind of want to make something for you guys. So we'll, we'll make a quarter into a ring. Do an Arkansas quarter. So the first step to make this coin into a ring is to punch a hole right in the middle of it. So and get those tools all prepped up here. And again, if anybody has a question, feel free to put it in the chat. And if you're enjoying the live, please make sure to tap the screen. That lets TikTok know I'm doing a good job, and it helps send more people to the live. Let's see here. So for quarters, I like to do a half-inch punch. I'm going to put a little guide right there, pop our quarter in here, and this is going to auto-center our, our coin. This has a nice cone shape on the top here, and as we tighten that down, it's going to move that coin right to the middle. And we're just going to punch right through it. Tap that screen. We're almost at 100 likes. Let's go. Get my handy hammer here. And we'll just 
tap that right on through. All right. Beautiful. Nice and easy. There is our center punch. I really like this one. You got a nice duck on there. You got a diamond right in the middle. It's a good looking center punch. It's really cool. Let's see how the rest of our coin looks. And again, for anyone who's just joining in here, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings, and I'd love to make a ring for you. So if you'd like to go check out the website, it's linked on my profile. You can also tap the gold chain down here by the chat. That'll pull up some of my products. And if you place an order during this live, you'll get to see it made. It's a pretty good deal, I think. Get some jewelry and a show. You're in Arkansas. Very nice. Well, I've got these state quarters in copper and 90% silver. So if you'd like to get one, I've got all 50 states available. Uh, let me know. So after we punch a hole in the middle of it, if you look right here at that inside edge, it's pretty sharp. So I'm going to take this tool. It's called a deburring tool. And we're just going to clean that up, smooth it out a little bit. This is kind of a slow, boring part, so if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen while we get through it, I sure would appreciate it. We're almost at 400 likes on this live. Thank you guys for tapping. And again, if you place an order during the live, I will stop what I'm doing and make that ring for you. So if you want to see a coin made into a ring just for you, go check out the website. It's linked on my profile. You can also tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Go check it out. Woo woo. Yeah, I've taken about a month off from doing TikTok lives. So it's it's nice to be back here hanging out with you guys making jewelry. How much are they? You can see all my prices on my website. Uh, you can find that either by tapping the website link on my profile or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. I make about 50 different types of coin rings, so my prices vary from $25 up to about $300, depending on the coin you choose. If there's a specific type of coin you have in mind, I can give you a, uh, a price on that. For example, these uh, copper state quarters go for 25 and the 90% silver state quarters are $100. No problem. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. And get that inside edge nice and smoothed out. Well, we're almost to 500 likes. Let's see if we can get there before I finish cleaning this up. Tappy, tappy, tappy. Tap that screen. Check out the website. Get you something cool and I'll make it for you. There we go. You see how nice and smooth that is now? That's much better. So, now we're going to hop over here to my desk. And we'll start doing some folding and stuff. This is my one ton arbor press. That's what we're going to be using to fold this coin. These next steps. Get this camera set up a little better here. 800, almost 900 likes. Let's go. Y'all are crushing it. So here I like to use a doming block. What do I do with the center punch? So there's a couple options when you place your order for your center punch. Every coin has a, uh, a different center punch. You can get just the center punch like this as an add-on. You can get it as a keychain. Uh, you can get it as a pin that you could put on your hat or your tie. And uh, I think you can also get it as a necklace. So there's there's quite a few options for what you can, what you can do with the uh, center punch when you place your order. really up to you. I'm going 
got it on the doming block. We're going to grab a size of ball bearing. Pop that on top there. Give it a good fold. Nice. Now we've got a little bit of a cone shape here. It's our Arkansas across the front. I like to fold it just a little bit more after that. We're going to use the 17 degree die here to do that. This one's from Legacy Brand Tools. They make very good tools. 1,400 likes. Y'all are tapping the crap out of that screen. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't checked out the website yet, the link is in my profile. You can also tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen to check out my products. And uh, if you place an order during this live, I'll stop what I'm doing and make the ring just for you. So go check it out. See if there's anything on there you might want to get. So here is our coin so far. The next thing I like to do is sand this cut edge nice and smooth because we're going to stretch it. And that applies pressure to that edge. And if there's any scratches or nicks on there, they'll split the ring. Let's see if I got an example of that I can show you. There we go. So this is what happens if I don't sand the cut edge. So we're going to make sure we get that nice and smooth. Check it out, that's looking pretty good to me. We'll go a little more just for safety. Thanks for following. For anyone who's just joined in here, this was an Arkansas quarter and we're slowly working it into a ring. If you think that's pretty cool and you'd like to get yourself a coin ring, uh, tap the gold link down here, the link on my profile. If I get any orders in through my website during this live, I will make that ring live here for you. I think it's a pretty good deal. And to sweeten it up just a little bit more, I'll give you guys a coupon. You can use the coupon code WELCOME. That'll save you 10% off your order. So go to the website, check it out. And uh, if we get an order in, we'll work on it. Until then, we're just going to be making this Arkansas coin ring for a friend of mine. This one's going to be a size 9. So we're going to have to go over here and stretch it out a bit. And for that, we will need our ring stretcher. There we go. That's this cool blue thing. Thank you guys for following. And we're just going to start stretching that out. Flip, stretch it some more, flip it over again. You can see me flipping and spinning this as we stretch it out. That's so that the, the stretching pressure isn't always on the same point. It helps it stretch more evenly so you don't get any thin spots on the band. Size. All right, we got that at an 11, a little past an 11. That means we can make it smaller now. So we're going to get this back down to a size 9 using this reduction die we've got right here. And while I work on this, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. This was an Arkansas quarter a few minutes ago, and we've almost got it made into a ring. If you'd like to get yourself a coin ring made by me, 
uh, tap the website link on my profile or the gold chain down here by the chat. It's really easy to do. That'll pull up some of my products and the pricing. And if I get an order in during this live, I will make it for you. So you get to see it made step by step. Pretty good deal. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Taking a little break from TikTok Live. This is the first one I've done in about a month. So I do appreciate you guys joining me. Sure. Take your time. No rush. We got that just above a size 10. So we still got some reduction to do on it. But we're going to use this plate over here. Oh, sir, I'm wondering if you can make one a size 16 for your ring finger. Uh, I could do size 16, uh, not in quarters, though. Uh, the max size I can do for quarters is a size 13, but uh, half ounce silver rounds and half dollars, as well as anything bigger than that, uh, I can make a size 16. No, I'm nowhere near Georgia. Uh, I live in Texas. I'm a few states off there. I've made a size 18 before. He's a big boy. So I can definitely get a, a size 16 done. Hello! It's really close to a size 9. Just trying to lock that in quick. Hello from Ireland. Good morning. There we go. We got that right at a size nine. I'll give you guys a good look at how it's, how it's looking. There we go. We've got these quarter coin rings available for all 50 states. Uh, copper clad ones are 25. 90% silver ones are 100. Uh, uh, quite a... Uh, a lot of coins that you can pick from on the website to be made into rings. Uh, the best way to get your ring size is just visit a jewelry store and get size there. That's going to be the most accurate measurement and uh, usually it's it's free. Yeah, these are really nice. Definitely suggest at least one of you getting one. Uh, so go check out the website. Use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. Uh, I have... Um, so copper clad, like this, I have 90% silver and I have uh, fine silver. This is an example of a uh, fine silver coin. This is uh, American Eagle. I can make those into rings as well. For the fine silver, I actually have three different sizes that you can pick from. I've got a full one ounce got half ounce and I've got quarter ounce so depending on how thick you want your band to be how heavy you want your ring to be uh, you can choose uh, different size coins for that as well as different designs so y'all go check those out yeah that's true you can also find uh, ring sizers like this at Hobby Lobby Marshalls any kind of craft store really and uh, they're, they're usually under $10, close to five, something like that, maybe three. And uh, you can size your finger with these as well. You can size your finger with them in store and not even buy them. Uh, if you're really tied up for cash. Um, haven't seen the whole process, uh, just stretching and shrinking. Well, I can make another one for you guys if you want. Let me polish this up just a little bit. Then we'll make another one all the way through. Again, if you'd like me to make a cornering just for you, go check out the website, place an order, and I will make it here on the live. Yeah, 
1,600 likes on this. Let's see if we can get that to uh, 2,000. Taiwan. Hello, hello. What about the Celtic? This one I, I bought from another ring maker. So I haven't been able to find any kind of coin that has this Celtic knot on it. I have been on the lookout for it. Unfortunately, I haven't found anything yet. But this one, this is a, uh, a Morgan silver dollar. I did make this one. That's pretty cool. All right, here it is. Our Arkansas quarter coin ring. Looks pretty dang good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make another one, just so you guys can see the whole process. Uh, pick a state. Let's see, the first state that comes up in the comments, that's the state I'll make. See who's paying attention, who's interacting. Uh, PA, is that uh, Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania it is all right clean this up just a little before we get started and again y'all I've got these available in all 50 states in copper clad and 90% silver so if you would like to get yourself one go check out the website link is on my profile you can also tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen we hit 2,000 likes that's what I'm talking about very nice. So the first thing we got to do to make this into a ring is punch a hole right in the middle of it. When I first started doing this, it was actually really difficult to do that. So I got this specialty tool here that auto centers my coin. It uses this cone shape on the top here to do that. So as we tighten this down, it'll move that coin right to the middle, which makes things so much easier to get started. Got that nice and tight on there. Find the punch we need. Half inch punch, there we go. Thank you very much. All right, then we'll just punch this through here. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. If you haven't checked out the website yet, it's linked on my profile. Go take a look around. Uh, if you place an order during this live, I'll make it for you. Pretty good deal. You can also use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. So I don't know why you wouldn't. Let's go. All right, looks like we've got an order for a cowboy hat coin. If you place that order, please let me know what state that is. Do I have any gold ones? I have one gold coin uh, currently available. Let's see here. It's not the biggest thing, but it is pretty. It's a uh, quarter ounce American Eagle. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. This one's from 2001. And I can't make these super big. I think the limit on the size of this would probably be Close to a size 9 or a size 10. But for a smaller finger, could definitely be done. If you'd like to see what that looks like finished, I do have pictures on my website of uh, one of these that is finished. Minnesota? Absolutely. I've got all 50 states. Oh, uh, user <laughs> 45111. Are you the one who ordered the... Uh, the cowboy hat necklace? Is that correct? See, I may just have to hop on my computer to see what state that is. Yes.
Yes, okay, cool. In that case, you are a paying customer, so I'm going to set this aside for now and get to work on your order. Let me grab that real quick. You said Minnesota. It's called a deburring tool. Uh, the cost you can see on my website right here or by tapping the gold chain down at the bottom of the screen. Deburring tool, yeah. So if you just asked a question about the quarter ounce gold eagle, uh, if you're in the live, go ahead and ask it here so I can I can answer that for you on the live. Nice. All right, so we're going to make this into a cowboy hat. Let me get my tools to do that. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll give you a follow, man. If you'd be posting, you'd be posting cornering stuff on the Gold Eagle. I wanted to see if you have more pictures of the band inside or out. I've only made one of those, and uh, the one I made was with the was with the head side out. So I don't have any pictures of what it would look like with the tail side out, but I can kind of show you what it does look like as a coin. So it would go right through the middle of that eagle's head. And as far as uh, gold coin rings, if, if this isn't exactly the coin you're looking for, you'd like to do a different gold coin. Uh, I have a button on my profile that says get a quote. Uh, like if you'd like to do something a little bit bigger than this or a different design, a uh, different year, uh, that can be worked out through that button on my profile. Uh, this is just the only one I have on hand in stock. Uh, you can see my prices on my website. And it's linked on my profile or you can tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. The first step for making a quarter into a cowboy hat is pretty interesting. So we use this thing right here. I'm gonna pop our quarter on there. It's got a really strong uh, steel washer in the middle of this. Yes. Uh, if if you'd like to do a custom coin ring or me work on your specific coin, uh, that is handled through the get a quote button on my profile as well. Um, how much a fourth ounce of gold is generally? The price of gold kind of uh, goes up and down. I think when I got it, it was close to seven fifty for that coin. Uh, but uh, it, it could easily be a different price today. So this is going to dome the center of that quarter. Yeah, 
yeah, seven hundred and fifty dollars. It's gold, man. Gold is not cheap. That's why I don't have a lot in my inventory. <laughs> See if we can push that a little bit further. I have to be careful not to go too far because it will actually push through the coin and snap it. So it's a little tricky. Yeah, I prefer to work on silver for uh, for just that reason. I've broken it before. Uh, I don't think I'm going to break it today. We're making this into a cowboy hat coin necklace. different size ball bearing it's weird <laughs> yeah, I've got a whole whole bag of ball bearings here They're pretty useful so now we got the center of that nice and domed what's the most unique piece I've made I still have some practice to do on stone setting, but I think this one is really neat. You can see how scratched up it is. This is definitely a practice piece, but I'm really proud of it. Uh, I was able to get red, white, and blue on there. I think it's pretty neat. So currently I don't offer stone setting. I still have some more practice, but I think this one's really cool. A half dollar with red, white, and blue set in it. Pretty neat. All right, so the next step is to fold this into the shape of a cowboy hat. Thank you very much. Stone setting is definitely stressful because if you mess it up, you gotta start all over. That can be a real pain in the butt. Sometimes if I mess up on a ring, I can fix it by filing it or changing the shape. But if I drill too hard, too much, or off center, if I'm trying to set a stone, it's all bets are off, I gotta start over. So, here's our Minnesota quarter cowboy hat. Now we're going to make this into a necklace. For that, we got to punch a hole in the base down here. Two thousand one hundred likes on this live. Thank you guys for tapping the screen and joining in today. If you'd like to get yourself some coin jewelry made by me, you can tap the website link on my profile or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. There's lots of cool stuff to pick from, and I'd be happy to make you something. Now we gotta get ourselves. Nice necklace to put it on. And 
a jump ring. Oh yeah. And thank you for your order, by the way. I sure do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this for you. That's weird. I got two jump rings. I just need one of those. Thank you. That one does not open up very far. Don't try this at home. It'll probably hurt your fingers. What do I do with the blanks? Um, like the center punches, like this thing, I can make them into necklaces, uh, keychains, and like tie pins or hat pins. Uh, if if you do place an order on the website, there's a option to pick what happens with your center punch. So you can pick. Make them into cufflinks. I've thought about that. So I'd probably have to solder them. This jump ring is just not wanting to match up for me. So I'm just going to grab another one. Had two silver Canadian 50 cent rings. Didn't like the beading around one side. Uh, only any ideas. So coins, um, let me see here. I think you're talking about like this reeded edge. Uh, where's the one I just finished? But yeah, usually that, that gets folded and shaped so it's only on one side. If you want to get rid of it, you can sand it off or file it off. Uh, if you want it on the other side, that's a little more tricky because uh, you basically have to like artificially add reading. And I do have a tool for it, but it's really difficult to get the ring centered on there. So it never looks quite right. It always looks just a little bit off one way or the other. So I would suggest if you want it to look the same on both sides, you could just file it down and then it'll be smooth on both sides. And that, that looks pretty good. I've done that before. But it does kind of lose like part of what makes it a coin ring, you know? Yeah, no problem. So there is our Minnesota cowboy hat coin quarter necklace very nice that was fun well if anybody watching would like to get something made by me and see it made on this live go check out the website it's linked on my profile you can also tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen down here you'll see that give it a tap check it out i'd be happy to make something for you and uh, this live would be a lot more interesting if I had some stuff to make. So go visit the website real quick. You can also use the coupon code WELCOME. That's just the word WELCOME. And that'll save you 10% off your order. Uh, so I'm just going to polish this up and give you all a couple minutes to go check out the website. That came out really nice.
Also, if anyone has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Pretty cute. Set that aside to package that up later. Well, uh, if I see any orders come in on the website, I'll hop back on my live and make it. But for now, I'm going to hop off of here. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed the live. If you haven't yet, give me a follow. And uh, let's see here. What else can I say before I get out of here? Y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. I have a lot of fun making stuff for you guys. And it just wouldn't be the same without y'all watching. So I appreciate you coming by and uh, watching and checking out the website and just being so friendly. So I hope y'all have a great day. Uh, again, if I get an order through the, the website, I'll hop back on here and make it. So make sure to give me a follow so you can catch that if it happens. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.